Hi, I'm Nargan Sari and in this video I'm gonna talk about input mapping for beginner. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from my last video, we checked for a spacebar whenever they hit a spacebar on their keyboard, we jump or character will jump, right? But we want to make it easier. So if they, they are playing on Xbox, if they are playing on PS4, no matter what platform they are using, there should be a key to press to jump, right? So if we use it like this, a spacebar to jump, in Android phone it won't jump because it doesn't have a spacebar. In PS4 it doesn't jump because it doesn't have a spacebar, right? So what we can do about that? If we go to edit to project setting, in here go down to the input, you can see in binding here there are some action mapping and access mapping. The action mapping is uh, like when you want to hit a space bar in your keyboard. So that was an action mapping. But access mapping is where you are using access on your gamepad. So for example, for this jump that we have in here that we use the space bar in project setting, we can add a action mapping in here and I want to name it jump, right? So I want to jump uh, or character to jump when we hit a space bar and where you can find it in keyboard, okay? Uh, and you can find it like this and you can just search it, okay? A space bar. So whenever they hit the space bar, they can jump. But what about Android phone? So what you can do, you can add another action mapping in here so you can get the touch of the Android phone. So you know that Android phone support till the 10 touch, okay? Because this is for beginner. I don't want to show you how you can check those touches in this video, but in future video, I will show you how you can do that. For example, touch one, okay? So another one, let's say for example, for gamepad, okay? So whenever, whenever they hit, for example, mm, this gamepad left trigger, it will jump, right? Again, we can add another one for, uh, you see there is PS4, but it, it doesn't have that square uh, circle and all of those buttons. Why? Because it is in gamepad and it has just two other buttons that we can sit, get from here, okay? So another one is mouse event, where you can get it here. So whenever they click left mouse button, you can jump like this. Another one is Xbox One that you can see it has menu, view, pause, play and back button. And it has some for uh, virtual real reality as well. But this is enough for us. Let's just change its name to action jump. Okay, like this action jump. So so no, if you close this, whenever you put something here, it will automatically save. You don't need to save anything in here. Just close this. And in this in this player controller, instead of this space bar, just right click and in here search for action jump okay so it will give us this so whenever action jump is pressed jump okay so it doesn't matter if you play your game on android if it's on ps4 or if it's on pc it will work because you set an action mapping that if they uh, for example hit cross on ps4 controller it will jump if you hit the spacebar it will in pc it will jump if you touch some location on your android android phone it will jump so that's how you can set edit your action mapping and input mapping and it will work no, in no matter what platform they are playing your game with okay so let's just compile it to see if it's working or not if we hit the spacebar in this case it will jump and you can see it it jumped correctly right it's my honor to have you at the end of this video this was for beginner and in future i will explain more advanced stuff that you can do with this action mapping in Unreal Engine 5. Please, if you want to help me and you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.